Hi YouTube, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel. Anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about my skin. I'm going to be talking about what kind of skin I have, different problems I've encountered throughout the years, and my current skincare routine. So now that I am in my early 20s, um, my skin is still oily but sort of combination. Um, I have no oil problems on my cheeks. In fact, in the winter, every once in a while, my cheeks will get really dry. Even with my usual taking care of it stuff and I'll have to do like a hydration mask or whatever. And um, I have excess sebum around my nose and my chin and my like the middle of my forehead. Um, I don't have any blackheads. I was told for a long time that they were blackheads, um, but after doing some of my own research of why I couldn't get rid of it at all, I figured out that it's just excess sebum. Everybody has it whether you have blackheads or not. If you don't have it, then you are extremely lucky. Um, my main acne concerns are on the sides of my forehead and on my chin. I don't really get acne anywhere else. Every once in a while I'll get one on my upper lip um, or just like a robe person over here, like on my eye. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go into my current skincare routine. These are all products that I've been using for at least a month um, and have been able to see their effects and, um, and things that I really like. So starting with my morning routine, the first thing I do in the morning is wash my face with this cleanser. I don't know if you can see it very well because the words are kind of shiny and not very straight, um, but it is from the brand Ultimate Spa. It's the face cleanser with Dead Sea Minerals. The next thing I do is splash my face with some Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. Um, I'm considering switching to 100% Witch Hazel because um, although this is 100% all natural, it does have um, some natural grain alcohol, about 14%. I will say that I used to use it on like a cotton round, but I felt like I was wasting a lot of product. Um, I felt like a lot of it was still stuck in the cotton round and I kept having to wet the cotton round. Um, this is my second bottle of this and I've got like a little less than a fourth of the bottle left. I've been using this for about a year. I've had this particular bottle for about six months at least. Maybe a little bit longer, I'm not sure. Um, but I do use it every morning and every night. Um, but I just put a little bit in the palm of my hand, rub my hands together, and then just sort of press it into my face. Next is moisturizer. I, in the morning, I use the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. It's oil-free. Um, it's ultra lightweight, uh, non-comedogenic. Um, it's not ultra moisturizing, um, which is good for my oily skin, um, but it's um, moisturizing enough that it keeps my cheeks um, from getting dry and it comes with three ounces. I've had this bottle for maybe three months? I'm not sure exactly how long this lasts. I haven't kept track of it very well. Um, but this is my second or third bottle of this, so I really like this. Um, something I've started doing within the last couple of months is mixing in a couple of drops of 100% pure Australian tea tree oil. Um, pharmaceutical grade, you can pick this up at Walmart. All of these things, most of these things are things you can get at Walmart. Um, the Ultimate Spa, I'm not really sure where you can get that. Um, I got it at uh, Marshalls, which is discount TJ Maxx. I don't know, I can't remember what that. I think the British version is called TK Maxx or something like that. Um, but this is one fluid ounce. I will say, I'm halfway done with the bottle, but that's because I'm really stupid. Um, and I did not know that you shouldn't put more than a couple of drops in things when I first started using this. Um, I had to buy this little ear dropper thing, um, which is the only one they had at Walmart. They didn't have like any medicine droppers or anything. Um, but I used this and I put about two drops of the tea tree oil in my moisturizer. It's an antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, um, has really helped clear up my acne. Um, also with the tea tree oil, I use it about twice a month, maybe sort of whenever I have time and I feel like it, I use it by dropping a few drops into some boiling water and then steaming my face with it. Um, and that has helped really, it opens up the pores and gets rid of some of the excess sebum and gets rid of some acne before it starts. Um, then I use my e.l.f. eye roller, the 
stuff has rubbed off the side because I've had this for so long. I've had this for probably a year and a half um, and I don't think it's anywhere close to running out. I'm not really sure. It cost one dollar or three dollars. I kind of think it was only one dollar um, but it's from e.l.f. It helps to depuff, which I don't really have a problem with, but it does help with dark circles a lot. Um, and I put that on about the same time I put my moisturizer on because I don't want to get my moisturizer too close to my eyes because it has a tea tree oil in it and that would hurt really bad. Um, and then I let that sit on my face um, for about five minutes. I'll go get dressed or um, brush my teeth or put on jewelry, put on my shoes, whatever I need to do before I leave for the day. Um, and then I use the Equate um, Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Ultra Protection Clear Zinc Sunscreen um, for face and lips. This is really great. Um, it has vitamins A, C, and E in it, which is awesome. Um, vitamin A is a retinol kind of thing. Vitamin C helps with dark spots. Um, and obviously this is protecting from getting more dark spots while treating the dark spots you have at the same time. And vitamin E will help with acne, it helps with wrinkles, it helps with pretty much any skin problem you have, to be honest. Um, I mean, it, just taking vitamin E isn't going to solve those problems, but it definitely helps with pretty much anything. And the last thing I do before I leave the house is use my EOS lip balm. I have two of these. I put off buying some for so long because they're way more expensive than most of the lip balms and I thought, oh, I don't need that, I can just buy other lip balm, it's probably exactly the same thing anyway. Um, but then they had a sale on them and I got a lemon one with SPF in it and fell in love. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my nighttime skincare routine. Oh, and I leave that um, sunscreen on for five to 10 minutes, however long I can before I put on my uh, makeup and stuff. The other thing I do with the tea tree oil is um, whenever I get a new bottle of foundation, I add three or four drops of the tea tree oil to it and shake it up so then my foundation is treating my acne while I'm wearing it, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, so at the end of the day, um, I take my makeup off now using um, Garnier Skin Active, um, the micellar cleansing water all in one. Um, I really love this. I think it has done the best job of getting off my eye makeup as well as my um, the rest of my makeup. Um, it's very gentle. I tried the simple one. That's the one I got first. Um, it did not last me very long. The bottle is a little bit smaller than this one. Not that much smaller though. Um, and I used it up in about a week, maybe a week and a half at the most. Um, I've had this bottle for mm, three weeks now maybe? at least two weeks, and I'm nowhere near being through with it. It's still like way up here. Um, so I just use this on a cotton round. Um, you can use any kind of cotton round. I kind of want to get exfoliating ones, um, but the last time I was at the store, they didn't have any, so I got these, and then the next time I went to the store, they didn't have any, so I got some other ones that just I'm almost out of these. Um, next thing, I wash my face with Olay Regenerist um, Advanced Anti-Aging Detoxifying Pore Scrub Cleanser. Um, it diminishes the look of pores. And this smells pretty good. I don't know what it smells like. Cosmetic products, I guess. Um, I have noticed my pores looking smaller, mostly because they just don't have a lot of that excess sebum in them. Um, it does have a little bit of exfoliation in it, but not so much that it it's harmful for your skin to use it every day, um, but I love this stuff. It is by far my favorite cleanser that I have used, um, and I use it with one of these little scrubby things. I saw a YouTuber, actually the same YouTuber I think, that had the Dickinson's Witch Hazel as their um, toner, um, I think was the same person that I got this from. Um, I got this one with a L'Oreal 360 cleansing product. Um, but they now have them in stores, just buying them by themselves. They come in a pack of two. They're made of silicone, so they don't hold bacteria. Um, I don't know why you would need to, because I've had this for quite a while and used it with a lot of different um, facial cleansers, and it's not like it's going to wear out because it's made of silicone. So, um, about two or three times a week I try to do a mask in the evening whenever I kind of have time or feel like pampering myself. 
Um, I have several that I use somewhat regularly. Um, this is a hyaluronic acid um, mask. It's supposed to hydrate and lift. Um, it's from the brand Sculp, I believe. I also got this at um, Marshalls, so I don't know where you can actually buy it, but I'm sure I will find out soon when I have to replace it. I've used it three or four times, and like, I've used a fourth of the thing. You don't need that much. I um, mean, just sort of put it on your skin, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then wipe it off with cool water. Um, I also have some of these Freeman Feeling Beautiful masks. Um, this one is a charcoal and black sugar mask. It's um, a scrub, kind of, like you put it on like a mask, leave it on for a while, and then exfoliate your skin with it. Um, I like this. It tastes really good. I don't mean to eat it, but it's got sugar in it, so it tastes pretty good. And um, it smells really good. I don't know what it smells like. I don't know what any of these things smell like, but it smells good. Um, and I really like this. Um, and then I have a Freeman Feeling Beautiful Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. Um, this is helpful for me when I have blemishes that are underneath my skin um, to sort of bring them out to the point where I can actually start working on treating them and getting rid of them. Um, so after I use my mask, or don't use my mask depending on what I'm doing that day, um, I use these Equate Beauty um, Maximum Strength Cleansing Pads with 2% salicylic acid. First of all, this came with 90 pads, which means it's going to last me 90 days if I'm using them every single day, which is really great because it was only like $5 at the most. It might have been like 3 Um, may have been less than that. I don't really remember because it's been a while since I bought them because it lasts 90 days. Um, these smell terrible. They smell very chemically. Oh my gosh. I got the taste in my mouth. That was so gross. Um, yeah, but it's basically just... There's not a whole lot of extra added ingredients other than just some things to dilute the salicylic acid. Um, this is the off-brand. You can get um, the on-brand. Name brand. Name brand. That's what it's called. Um, if you wanted to, but I see no reason. These are cleansing pads, so you can use them to wash your face without actually washing your face. Um, but I prefer to just use them as an acne treatment. Um, I guess this technically means that instead of double cleansing, I triple cleanse, maybe? I don't know. But this is really just an acne treatment. The only active ingredient, ingredient is the salicylic acid, and that's an acne treatment. Um, but I just sort of wipe it around my T-zone. Um, if I have any um, acne over here, which, wow, I put my finger right on one, um, or anywhere else on my face, then I will rub this around it. Um, but I mostly focus on my jawline, my chin, my nose, upper lip, and the sides of my forehead. So after I let that dry, I use this Beauty Dreams Paris Vitamin C Serum Ultra Brightening. Um, and I just sort of, I use three pumps of this and then rub it into my entire face, down my neck. Everything you do to your face, you should do to your neck because you're putting makeup down your neck, or you should be at least down to here. Um, and this will just help your skin on your neck look good too. I don't know if anybody else has problems with that, but sometimes I get acne on my neck and sometimes it just feels weird. I don't know. Um, but I really love this serum um, so far. I haven't had any problems with it. I do notice a difference when I use it from when I don't use it. Um, and it smells pretty good. It doesn't have much of a smell, but it, it has kind of a perfumey smell, so it's not like a great smell. Um, kind of smells like old lady perfume, but it's not a bad smell. Then while I allow that to set, I use um, my Dirty Works Stop Puffy Eyes Perfecting Eye Cream. I also got this at Marshalls. I don't know where you can get Dirty Works stuff, but they had a lot of different stuff from this brand. Um, I'd never heard of it before. Um, I do like this, but I don't think it does as much for my dark circles as it claims to. Um, I don't know about the deep puffing because as I said, I don't really have puffy under eyes at all. Um, really my only problem with my under eyes is the dark circles. Um, I don't have a problem with this. I do think it moisturizes pretty well. Um, the first couple times I used it, I felt like it kind of burned a little bit. 
um, but I don't notice that as much anymore. I don't know if I just had something else on my fingers or what. Um, but I do like this. Um, I may switch it up a little bit and see what else I can find. I love going to Marshalls and just picking up skincare products and trying things out. Um, so this may stay, this may not. If you have puffy eyes, I suggest you try it because I don't know. And the last thing I do once my uh, vitamin C serum has set is moisturizer. I use this St. Ives um, Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. Um, I don't know whether it has done a lot for my wrinkles. Pretty much the only wrinkles I have are some ones on my forehead. Um, and they're not super deep, so, and since I wiggle my eyebrows a lot, I guess, they sort of stay there no matter what treatment I'm going to do to them unless I do something really intense. Um, but I've had this for, oh, I don't know, four or five months, ever since I stopped using the L'Oreal stuff, switched to this. Um, and I'm about a third of the way through this. Um, so it's going to last you a long time because it's in a huge thing and you don't need all that much um, because it is it has a lot of moisture in it. So you really just need a few little pea sized amounts to be dotted in different places in your skin and then rubbed in. And my face does look greasy after I use it. Um, I don't find that it causes any breakouts, um, but it definitely wouldn't be what I want to use for a day moisturizer because it does make my skin look really greasy. So other than that, um, things I do to take care of my skin, um, like I said, I use the sunscreen every day, no matter what you're doing. Um, another thing I do, I drink a lot of water. Trust me, I have to pee all the time, but it is so worth it. You're supposed to drink eight, eight ounce glasses a day, um, but I have found that drinking at least half of my body weight in ounces, if that makes sense. Like if you weigh 130 pounds, 130 divided by two is 65. So you want to drink at least 65 ounces of water up to 135 ounces of water. You don't want to drink too much more than that because then you might get overhydrated and you can die. So this video has been really long. I hope that I'm able to edit it down to a decent length because I'm pretty sure I've got like 30 minutes of content here. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys!